Cooper, Billy here. Hey, gonna do a quick video on how to wire in an RJ45 jack. This is for you guys that want to put an extender in your house, maybe run from your internet over to your Xbox or your, uh, your PS3 or whatever. Whatever doesn't have wireless on it and uh, you need to do an extra extension, maybe another computer, whatever. So I want to show you guys how to do this real quick. I'm going to move the camera over and we're going to do a uh, close-up and you'll just basically see my talking hands while I show you guys how to do it because I think that's probably the best way to do it. All right, guys, so here we have it. Here's the uh, talking hands. Hi. <laughs> All right. So um, basically, like I said, we want to run a cable that has, uh, you, you know, run some internet somewhere. We need an RJ45. So I got a little scrap piece of Cat5e here. Um, Cat5 is uh, short for Category 5. It was a computer cable. Um, originally it was Cat5, then they came out with Cat5e, which is enhanced. And I don't remember the data speeds. To me, it's irrelevant for the purpose of this video. If you want to look it up, look it up. Uh, what I want to show you is how to make the connections. So um, here we go. We got a, a cable here. This end's chewed off, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip it back a little bit so I'm not working with damaged cable. Next thing I'm going to do, come back probably uh, three, four inches or something, and I'm going to take it and just kind of gently score it with my knife. I don't really care if I'm damaging what's underneath here because you're going to see in a second we're really not going to use that. So once I've got it scored, grab it, snap it, Score it a little better than that. There you go. And it comes, pull it comes right off. Here's a rip string in here. We're gonna grab it. We're gonna pull back. Give me about another three inches. So, see what I did there? We pulled that back. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna snip off our excess sheathing there and the rip string because we don't need it anymore. Then we're gonna come in and we're gonna take. Oh, we'll leave about that much. We're gonna cut that off. So anything I nicked is now gone. And it's irrelevant because if it was even in here, we're still going to cut that off when we trim it back for the final. Now, go online. If you're not sure about this, you can look up your pinouts. Your pinout is your wire arrangement that is going to be in your um, RJ45 uh, plug here. So, basically, I don't know if you guys can see, I'll kind of come in there and you can see all the little metal pins in there. Each wire has to line up to a specific pen. Okay, guys. So we're gonna run a we're gonna run the pen out here. Um, basically, your tab right here. Put it on the back, and you figure your positions is one through eight. You're gonna run. Uh, basically, we're gonna do um, the first wire will be white orange, and we go orange white. Then we're gonna go white green, blue white, white blue, green white, white brown, brown white. And by what I'm saying by this is, if you look at these individual pairs, each one of these. Um, Strings here is a pair of wires. There's two wires here. So basically when we pull them apart, like I'll do this brown one so you guys can see it up close. And I'm sorry if I'm talking out of, out of uh, realm of basic knowledge here. I used to do communications, so sometimes I slip into it without even thinking about it. And I'm talking like everybody would know what I'm talking about. See how this one has white and then brown, and this one is really dark brown. There's actually some trace white in it. So this would be white brown. This is brown white. This is how uh, phones work, every, and they use this on the uh, internet connections and data connections really heavily back in the 90s and stuff I, before they started pushing in on the uh, fiber. But I believe this stuff is still used now. I haven't been doing it, so I'm not really sure what they're using in the offices now. So what we're going to do, we want to kind of separate the pairs. And if you're not sure about the pinout, go online, just Google RJ45 pinout, and an image will show up. This one here was the top one that showed up for me. I use it as a refresher, <laughs> so you can see what I was running with. I used to know this all by heart, and you don't do it for a few years, and you get old and fat like I am, and your brain just starts to forget stuff. So, we're going to start out, we're going to be white-orange. Um... Keep your pairs kind of um, apart like that so you've got your colors to work with. Get yourself comfortable on it. Hoping I stay on. I'm trying to do this and watch the camera to make sure I'm staying on video, so bear with me here. You're going to take your fingers, kind of straighten them out as you go. So the first pair, white, orange, orange, white. Then we're going to do white, green. can see me kind of moving these around a little bit as I'm doing it. Keep straightening it. Actually, I got myself bass backwards. Green, white, we switch it up. So it goes white, orange, orange, white, 
green white then we throw in white blue blue white next to it and you just kind of keep kind of keep working it you can see what I'm doing I'm just keep working it with my fingers then the the white green comes on the other side of that then white brown brown white keep working it take it I find if you bend them back and forth sometimes you don't want to use a tool or anything just use your fingers for this these wires are so thin you can actually stretch this type of wire I know that sounds like a something that a trick old guys would pull on new guys on a job site or something but there actually is you can actually on copper wire you can actually uh, stretch it out especially this thinner stuff so we're gonna take it so there's the layout there we have our white orange orange white green white white blue blue white white green and twist it here white brown brown white now there's our pen right there so I'm gonna try and get this cover in there so we're gonna cut back about right there you can use the edge of the crimp tool for this but uh, they have usually a lot of the crimp tools will have a cutter on them so we're gonna take it and just kind of feel it sorry just watching the camera there kind of fill it in there's little grooves in there they all should sh slide in you shouldn't really have resistance until it hits the end and then I always kind of look in there you'll kind of see the wire ends coming up underneath their respective spots and then you can look through the pla plastic here and double check yourself you'll be able to see the colors you have to look a little bit but you can see them then what you need to complete this sorry is a crimp tool and you can get these I believe Radio Shack probably carries them you don't even need something as nice as what I have here they have junkier ones than this, but I think something like this was probably... Oh, Home Depot will carry these too. Um, I think these are like $15 or something. Stick that into the RJ45 one and squeeze it. Give it a good squeeze, pull it out, and you have your first connector. We do the exact same thing on the other end. And when we do that, we will have this length of cable, which is probably, I'm guessing, at least 20-some feet here will be made up for me if I need to use it for something else. Um, run another connection. Now, this uh, this uh, Cat5e cable is not cheap, so you're going to want to see if you can find it in a piece somewhere that you can work with. But I think if you buy, like if you, especially if you're doing a long connection or several connections, you're going to be better off making your own as opposed to spending the freaking ridiculous amounts of money they are charging for these cables in a store. And this this works perfectly fine. I, like I said, I haven't done this in years. I did one this morning um, for my Xbox to, so I could steal this router out here and use it in the garage. And that's what made me think, you know what, i got to do a video to show these guys how to do this. And then uh, they can uh, you know, s save some money and then it'll, it'll help make your life a little bit easier. There we have the finished connection. So I got a piece of cable now, two RJ45s on it. What I would need to do is plug this into a computer knowing working setup and just make sure it works. Um, this is a quick way to do RJ45s in your house and uh, or business. And if, especially if it's in your business and you're paying somebody a hundred bucks an hour or more to come in and do the network hookup for you, this will save you a ton of money. So, hey guys, hope this helps. Take care.